Our 20,000 IDF reservists returning to the UK, essentially this week. So this is gonna be a quick one. I'm in Tampa right now, but I'm done with all my meetings and I'm waiting for my flight at five. This was sent to me by a fan who found it in a Reddit post in what looks like some kind of British communist subreddit. Now, I don't know who this guy is, the person who claims this, but he's claiming that 20,000 IDF reservists will be returning to the UK, I guess after their tour of duty has expired. And he questions who these people are, what war crimes have they committed, maybe they should be arrested and interrogated. So I'm going to show you the video and then I'm going to explain why he's lying. Note that this guy gets pretty bigoted in the video, so if you're watching this on Substack, if you're tired of his rant, you can skip to somewhere up here. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to uh, play the claim of 20,000 reservists, but I'm not going to show the whole thing. If you really want to hear it, go to rhymeclip.substack.com. It's free and you don't even have to sign in. Thank you to all my Substack subscribers who voluntarily give me five bucks every month to keep this channel going. One note. At the beginning, this gentleman says IOF, which stands for Israeli Occupation Forces. This is a term some anti-Israeli protesters use for the IDF, or Israeli Defense Forces, which is their official name. Let's watch the video. Hey, so it was reported over the weekend that up to 20,000 British citizens will be returning to the UK over the next week or so from service in the IOF. And it appears that unlike in South Africa, where they'll be arrested on return, in the UK, they'll just get a welcome, sir, as they come through immigration. Okay, so is it even possible for 20,000 IDF reservists to leave the UK and go fight for Israel? Well, the International Center for the Justice of, for Palestinians says that about 90 or so volunteers uh, leave England every year to go to Israel to serve in the IDF. But this was before the war started. The UK paper The Standard claimed that at least 100 people travel to Israel from the UK to join the fight against Hamas. The Daily Mail gives a similar number. Now, here's what I can tell you from my personal experience. In the days after the war started, one of the most popular autocomplete searches on Google when you typed in the word Flights 2 was the word Israel. Israel autocompleted the word Flights 2. I even made a video about it. That part is true. Now, there are three types of people who are getting on those jets. Current IDF soldiers who are on vacation, former IDF soldiers who are traveling, and just note that a lot of uh, Israelis take a year off and travel the world after they do their army service. And then there were dudes who served 20 to 30 years ago, and naturally those guys were rejected. And the next thing they did was DM me and complain that the IDF had shortages of weapons and armor. I'm glad I checked that story out because as it turns out, it was just dudes who were my age who were out of shape and they were complaining the IDF wanted to move pallets of water in a warehouse instead of fight. Now, from what I understand, the tooth to tail ratio of the IDF is about one to two. That means for every combat soldier, there are two supporting soldiers backing them up. So if you do serve, you stand about a 33% chance of being selected for combat duties. So if you are selected for combat duties, you have a greater chance of committing a war crime just because you are part of the fighting. You have a greater chance than someone who is on the back of a supply truck. However, if you take the number 20,000 and you divide it by the number of Jews in the UK, which is roughly uh, 271,000, you get about 7%. So you're saying that 7% of the Jews in the UK got on a plane to come to Israel and fight? If there's roughly 100 Jews that are leaving the UK every year to serve in the IDF, it would take 200 years to train that many soldiers. Now, I also want to point out that there are Christians, Muslims, and Druze that also serve in the, uh, in the IDF, but at a far lower number. Christians and Muslims who are Israeli citizens can volunteer for the IDF. Uh, the Druze are conscripted into the IDF, but there's only about uh, 150,000 Druze who live in Israel. So I don't think we have hordes of Christians, Muslims, and Druze with dual UK Israeli citizenship leaving England to go fight. Uh, I'm sure there's a few, but not 20,000. Now, this guy also said it was reported over the weekend. Hey, so it was reported over the weekend. That Which uh, leads me to think, by whom? Well, I figured it out. It came from everybody's favorite disinformation source, TikTok. Specifically, a channel called Asia.UK.News. And I will link to that channel in my Substack, but please don't go on TikTok unless you're on a virtual machine behind a VPN. So who is this guy who claimed this thing? Well, I used facial recognition and I came up with a few hits of him ranting at the camera about the Jews and the military industrial complex. I'll link to those rants on my Substack as well, but I can't find a name for this guy. So if you have one, please let me know. So that's it. I don't think the number of 20,000 is correct. It's probably more like roughly 100. Thank you guys so much. For watching. Hey everyone, 
New Ryan Macbeth t-shirts and hoodies from Bunker Branding are available. I'm going to get the Highmars shirt. What are you going to get, Donald? The Patriot shirt, because I'm a Patriot. It's the best shirt, the biggest shirt. Make 14 tangos great again. What are you going to get, Barack? Let me be clear. I'm going to get a drone sweet drone shirt. What about you, George? I'm going to get a try that missile shirt, because they're weapons of mass destruction. Oh, I'm going to get a land my marker shirt because my presidency always blew up in my face. I'll tell you what I'm going to get. Ronald Reagan, but you're dead. I came back to tell you that no matter our politics, we're all Americans. And we should buy Ryan's hoodies and t-shirts because they pay for the stock footage and licenses that allow him to make awesome content. So come on down to Bunker Branding and buy a Ryan Beth t-shirt or I'll start the bombing in five minutes.